Radio check, Pita. Radio, ok. Radio, ok, je confirme. Back. Back of the grid. Quatre. Sebastian Buemi Trois. falls into Deux. position. Ah. All five lights ah. are on, and we go racing in Buenos Aires, and it's a very good start from Prost, but can he get the inside line on the run down towards the first corner? No. Bird comes over, covers it across, bit of a lock up. 6.43. C'est bien, c'est bon, continue, c'est bien. Simone de Silvestro lunging up the inside. She makes up some places. Everyone safely through turn one. 14-02. Target 1.52. Okay, look, it was Wemi passed Simone de Silvestro. Nice clean pass there. That's four cars. That's Buemi up into 14th place. Okay, Buemi through turn one. Target 18. Target 18. Okay, that's four cars. That's Buemi up into 14th place. Right up behind Nick Heidfeld and Cruz is through down into not, four. Yeah, not, not, not even a competition there. You have two from Cruz and Vettigilo. There's Buemi up the inside of Nelson Piquet coming into the hairpin at turn five, so that's another position for the championship leader. 21.59. Okay, so we're going to textbook stuff. Car by car, one at a time. 27.07. Attention, attention. Oh, goes to the inside and can he get that job <laughs> done into turn four? Yes, he can. I thought Apt was going to cover him. He was trying to, I think, but a bit, bit too late. John Eric Byrne is next on his hit list. Look at the job Wemmy's doing. It's, it's, it's a kind of magic. This is on board with Sebastian Buemi coming through the long left-hander. And he uh, then is going to look to the inside, I imagine, coming down into turn four. That's Duran, that's Senna, <laughs> and that's Ambrosio that he goes past. Amazing! But he almost lost it there on the back, locked the rears again, which is what caught him out in qualifying. But yeah, this was the him. shot we saw, him barreling in here, and you're thinking, <laughs> oh, he's never going to get that stop, and he's heading straight to the wall. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, <laughs> that was pretty close. Watch Buemi into turn four here. He's setting him up. This has been his favorite move all day, setting him up through three and doing the move into four. I mean, it's, it's just, he's on absolutely on a mission today. That's Sebastian Buemi, the championship leader. He's come from 18th on the grid. He's now up into fourth position and he's right up behind Stefan Sarazan out onto the start grid. And he's going to pull alongside and pass Sarazan down into turn one, gets on the brakes. Buemi is through, the next man in front of him, championship rival Lucas Degrassi. Nothing Sarazan could have done there. Let's see how quickly he closes this, this gap to Degrassi. Okay, je confirme, je suis concentré. 12 laps to go for a heck of a finish. Alright, if you're Sam Bird, who do you want behind you? Degrassi or Buemi? Uh... Degrassi because then Buemi is going to try and fight him as they come down towards seven. Degrassi covers the inside line, the two championship battlers. Buemi sells in the dummy. Degrassi tries to squeeze him, but Buemi goes through into second place. Look, he's got such a good run. Great and, run. And you think Degrassi's got it covered? Nah, they just, they hasn't. He's, he's moved over. You should, if you're going to do that, you need to be all the way where Buemi is and force, uh, so you need to force Buemi into that first lane and he, he just didn't do it. Sebastian Buemi started at the back of the grid after messing up in qualifying. But now he is right with the Englishman. Across the line they come. Four to go. Six miles left in this Formula E race. Sam Bird that, is leading. That's perfect. Plenty of energy. You've got four laps remaining. Four laps remaining. Buemi's just starting to creep four closer now. Cheers. The gap down to six tenths. Look, here we go, he's setting up. Through turn three. Big slide from Buemi, but he keeps it together. Bird covers the inside line. Down towards turn seven. This Sam is his last Bird chance. Leads. Buemi is not going to be close enough, so all Bird has to do is make it through the final chicane. Désolé, j'ai pas eu les couilles. Bird into the right hander, makes it stick, and takes victory yeah! in Argentina. Come on! <laughs> what a drive by both those guys there. J'ai pu penser parce que je voulais gagner, mais c'est clair qu'on aurait pu le faire en y pensant un peu plus. Bon, c'est une bonne stratégie. Euh, en partant de dernier, finir de. Honnêtement, pour le faire, il fallait faire un full conso. Ce qu'il a fait, il a mis une seconde à tout le monde. Donc, euh... non, c'est très très bien. Je devais attaquer quand euh, j'avais l'opportunité, mais il était pas mal vite quand même. C'était une belle remontée. C'est du bon boulot quand même. I would have wished to, to win, but at the end of the day, you know, I made already a mistake today, so uh, I have to make sure I get the most out of the car and out of the team. 
and uh, at least we go away with good points and uh, three more than Lucas. And then coming down into turn seven, it all went wrong. The Swiss driver spinning out of qualifying and that means he will start the Buenos Aires E-Prix later on from the back of the grid.